Alrighty everyone, so I'm working at this. Pretty much worked it out. Well, kind of. I'm tossing this up. But I really want one more of these on here. Bring it down to whatever, 1200 microfarads per dump. That uh, we could do um, energy transfer. We could have a battery here or a capacitor that we are like in buck converter mode that we are charging to about um with the four capacitors we could hit the 1350 volts working voltage of these capacitors and then it dump 600 volts out of them into the battery which would be whatever maybe 700 volt capacitor battery so anyways, can be set up many ways. All the settings are here. Uh, if I get dumping this, it's just going to be outrageous. Like, <laughs> it's already outrageous, right? Right here. Fucking stupid outrageous. We're just going to siphon a little bit of uh, about half of the throughput coming in here. Half will go this way, half will go this way. But we will get a little more from the collapse going this way. And this... We'll go this way, back to the source, or whatever you want. So I was considering getting a bunch of those super capacitor bars, make about a 60 volt capacitor out of them, put it underneath of this in a stack, and dump that through the choke to the super cap, and um, run this. So you would take a feed from the super cap into the boost converter supply, the input supply. So you basically, you could start it on an external source here. Put the 12 volt or a 9 volt battery here for a few minutes. Um, you could do that on that capacitor there, right? So you put it in there, probably 12 volts. Uh, small battery you let this thing run in resonance doesn't have to discharge remember this energy even without discharge is going through resonance all the way through the system all the way through that core even not dumping it's going right through it so it must be going down to negative or something and it's coming out actually over here resonance and that resonance is all rectified DC. It will compound to these caps until this cap gets full. Not quite full, but gets filled up, right? To the value of what our supply and resonance is. Without dumping anything. Nowhere dumping. Just applying a source of a probably 12 volt. 12 volt, he might start dumping. But, uh, okay, so... We understand that's going to build and build and build until it gets full, right? And we are going to put it in here and put it in here. We are working on filling up these super caps. At this point, we haven't put any energy into those super caps yet. Not any. So if we have like, I don't know, 100, I don't know, I don't know, 500 farads or something, 60 volts or what is, whatever, 100 farads, 60 volts, whatever just something that can accept this amount of charge really fast because once this gets going it's going to go fast but at the start it's not right it's going to compound upon itself okay so now where did I leave off he is going to uh, charge that okay once this gets up to its first dump that dump is going to go through. We are going to get the kickback, high frequency resonance, come back rectified, go in here. Kickback, not just the 30 or 40 kilohertz go through, but we are going to get the kickback. 150 kilohertz rectified, come in and fill those caps. And then when this pops, he's going to go in there and fill that. 2,000 microfarads every dump at whatever voltage we are dumping at. And then this will pick up and go. Dump, 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 dump. Several times it will take 13 fills of this. 
cap. Probably take 20, should take 26 if we were putting half this way and half this way. It's, it's only an estimate. I won't know until we run it. 10 to 20 fills of this capacitor to fill that capacitor in microfarads, okay? But because we have the resonance component and the kickback component, it will be much reduced. And then this will dump, and this will dump tremendous into the system that is specifically designed to self-run it. So once you put your source on here, everything fill up, every, even the super caps, it all fill up, say probably even just the first time. How's that? It all fill up. He is bucked from the, say, 60 volts to the 48 volts. When I put the modified ZVS, we can run him 48 volt, 20 amp, but he won't use 20 amp because of the caps. That caps the throughput. Okay. All right, all right. So uh, he will just go. That's all there is to it. He will become running on this supercapacitor. We'll just apply a source here for however long it takes to get the system to start bumping. This one starts bumping. This one starts bumping. It bumps for about a minute, maybe. Everything is full. Then you take that away, and he away you go. Self-running, high power. Turn him right up, because the more you turn this up, the more he's going to go through, the more he gonna, the faster he's going to fill that, the more he's going to dump. And perpetual loop. Okay? Hope you all understand. Beautiful board. With the big, high power dumping like this, they're going to be more money, because the caps are 100 bucks a piece. So if I put four caps on here, we're going to have 1,200 microfarads to dump. Uh, that's stable for 600 volt dumping. 1200 microfarads be a lot of fucking jewel, right? A lot. Bang! This should should handle it, and we're just going to transfer it through the choke into the super capacitor bank, or whatever the hell you want. The big caps. I like the big caps because I like the big power, but uh, super caps will work. I'm interested in trying that but I have to sell some devices to make some capital to move the next path stone on the path right okay okay have a wonderful evening